Okay, reapings everybody, and welcome to something slightly different. I call this the Serious Nostalgia series, I think. I hope I'm not gonna rename it. I'm gonna play some old games that I used to love when I was younger. For my first trick, pulling the dog out of the hat. Man, this game. <laughs> Thank you, Chippy. Now for some credits. I love this game so much. I played this so many times. Impressed, eh? Well, watch this. And this is a little bit of an intro <laughs> before the actual intro <laughs> to the game. Uh? Let me try that again. The wand never fails. I'm getting the idea, and now for my next trick. Oh well, back to the old drawing board. Yeah, a lot of people don't do that anymore, like showing credits before the game. Pretty good, huh? I'm entirely self-taught, you know. I can't believe you've watched this far. I can't believe it either. No, I always watch it this far. It's too good to not watch it. I would have skipped through it by now. I can smell burning. Hang on. Ow! Ow! Ooh. Ow! Ooh. <laughs> I'd like to see you do better. I wonder if I can find a better dog in here. Wow! I didn't even have time to get a phone number. And now, for all you traditionalists... Knocks them dead every time. Now for the woman again. Never mind, I like a woman with spirit. And he walks off screen. Time for the actual intro. This homework is really bugging me. I think I'll find the dog and put it in the dryer again. So that's where you are. What's this? Ye oldie spell bookie. What a load of old rubbish. Okay, Gobos, this magic paper brings food. I thought I heard something. Alizigi, Alizangi, Alizongi, Alizongi. Dear Simon, I am pleased to announce that you have been chosen from literally hundreds of hopeful candidates to perform a death-defying but extremely worthwhile quest, for which you will be rewarded quite a lot. 
All you have to do is rescue me from the hands of the evil sorcerer Sordid. Feel free to use my extremely valuable spellbook and dog to assist you. Look forward to seeing you soon. Wish you were here. Love and kisses. Calypso, <laughs> Grand High Wizard of the Village of oh, Fleur Lee. I yes, forgot about that. Before you can use the spellbook, you must become a wizard. There are some wizards hanging around in the local tavern who can help you. PPS, use this magic postcard and map to help you. Love and kisses from Calypso. Oh, great. I'm stuck here in this stinking world in these stinking clothes and not a pizza bar in sight. Lucky this is just a dream or I'd be really worried. Is it just a dream though? All right, here we go, guys. Simon the Sorcerer. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm like too excited. This is really old school, right? We still have like the good old walk to consume, pick up, remove all these menus here. Lots of um, games nowadays don't have that anymore, right? A shallow draw in the wizard's writing desk. So, so like to actually interact with thing, you have to like select, for example, we have open drawer, oh, right? There's a pair of scissors in here. Take or. Uh, pick up. There it is. I have to get used to this again. Oops. Scissors. So yeah, it's really old school, but man, this game is a lot of fun. I I played this so much. This came out in I think '93, uh, but I didn't play it until I'm pretty sure it was '97 or '98, and I know that because when I bought the game, the door appears to be stuck shut. Oh, that's unfortunate. When I bought the game. Actually, my dad bought it for me because I was going to. Uh, ooh, wizard stuff. Like, let's, let's take a look at this. I think there's a way. I think there was a way to look at stuff without it must having. Be junk. To click on look at first, but not sure. Um, yeah, it was. I went with my. I went with my father. I went to like watch Star Wars, episode four to five, um, in like a cinema. It was like a special day, which was pretty awesome. You know, look at this compost. Let's take a look at it. A heap of highly magical and smelly compost. Hmm, great. And uh, they also had like a store in that cinema, which was pretty awesome. It was like the first time I'd seen like a store inside a cinema. Usually it's just the cinema, but that thing was huge. And I bought, or he bought for me, uh, this game. Ooh, there's some rope. Let's uh, take it. No one will miss this old thing. You don't know that. Let's turn on the music a bit more. It's really loud. Luckily we can do that. Yeah, he bought, he bought this game. Uh, Riven, which is uh, Mist 2, and Lighthouse the Dark Being. And that was like. The, all those three games are like one of my favorite adventure games. They're all amazing. Let's talk to this fella, good old blacksmith. Good morning. He's too engrossed in his work to hear me. Yeah, he doesn't really care much. Um, so, you know, good old pixel hunting, looking around, hovering over things. You can see the stuff change. Yeah, I, I saw like earlier today, I was looking at a different game I was playing, which came out like in 2000 something ish, like recently. And someone in the comment section was like, This was my first point and click adventure game. And I'm like, What? I guess there are people who have not played a point and click adventure game before, which is, to me, it's crazy, man. These games are amazing. This is like probably my favorite genre. Look at these hidden matches in that corner. Yeah, you really have to like look at the screen and find things. And I really hope that this is recording well. I wonder what this is doing here. Fruit machine, huh? Can we like use it? I haven't got any quarters. True that, true that. Look at this fella, a dwarf. Let's uh, let's talk to him. I don't think he's really talkative I though. I wouldn't want to wake him. Right. He looks completely out of it. He he does, doesn't he? Um, let's see if we can get a drink in here. Lots of very strange people in this bar. Good morrow, barkeep. Good morrow, lad. Good morrow. Hmm. Uh, do you know where Calypso has got to? Do you know where Calypso has got to? Nah, but then that old geezer is always going off without telling anybody. Collecting magical ingredients, he says. Who knows what sort of harm could befall him, especially with that sordid character running about. Sordid? What do you know about Sordid? Very little. He lives up in the craggy peaks and generally keeps himself to himself. He's boosted my trade tenfold, though. Hmm. How is Sordid helping to boost business? It's a long story. Apparently, he wants to take over the entire world using black magic. Anyway, 
As a result, all the heroes are donning rusty armor again and coming back into service, all of them seeing themselves as the saviors of the world. The thing is, though, they all stop here for a drink on the way. I've seen all sorts go through here, warriors, wizards, priests, assassins, and not one has been seen again. So what? I don't see what all the fuss is about personally. So he may be a bit power crazy and all that, but who isn't these days? The old fella keeps himself to himself. He don't bother us, we don't bother him, and that's that. Ah, uh, strange relationship. <laughs> you talk a lot, don't you? I love this. Man, I mentioned it. The human, this was pretty funny. It's very sarcastic and very, uh, uh, dry sometimes. I come from another dimension. I come from another dimension. As I said, we get all sorts in here. <laughs> yeah, clearly you can see that. I guess I shouldn't read these messages because he's reading them out anyway. Let's get a drink, though. I quite fancy a drink now. Make mine a wet wizard. Hang on a moment. Even though we don't have money. Oh, we get control of our character. That probably means I'm there's sure going to be some something. Sparrow juice down here a somewhere. beer barrel. Can we just take it? I can't do that. No. The barman might see me. No, he's like hiding though. Where oh, well. is it? Okay. I guess I'm he sorry, doesn't have sir, any. I can't seem to find any sparrow juice at the moment. That's, That's fine. Okay. I'm underage anyway. <laughs> Anything else, sir? Um. No, I think that's it. Nice talking to you. So long. See ya. Don't have to s talk about every single thing. So let's uh, talk about these uh, Val Valkyries, Valkyries. Hello. I don't know how you say it. What do you want, boy? <laughs> so, do you come here often? What are you on, kiddo? Get out of here. Oh, uh, not much success here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, when I played this, obviously I was uh, still in Germany and I didn't know much English, so I played this in German. Um, but I did replay this in English a few times before I've as well. Two jowls, two pongs, Look at these wizards. What are you guys doing? They work for me. They think they're disguised Can I look at them? They think they're disguised oh. as yokels. So that's it looks more like a PJs or something. Yes, but double it for having a pair of concealed green dragons, I think. But oh, I'll playing some games. Let's just talk to them. So Excuse me. Yes, boy. I'm looking for some wizards. Know where I can find some? I bain't be seeing any round these parts, Nike. We be us humble farmers who are. Who are? That be right. I be about as magical as a run of bean, like. I don't think I believe you. You sure you're not wizards? Quite sure, lad. We be country folk, born in wholemeal bread. Who are? Are you saying we be fakes like? Yes. Yep. <laughs> what makes you think we're wizards anyway, like? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> you have awful accents. <laughs> uh, when I move, oh, I love this. I when love I this. When I move my mouse pointer over you, it says wizards. Oh, fair Breaking enough, the I suppose. Wall. Disguise is off, lads. What did you want to speak to us about anyway? I want to be a wizard. I want to be a wizard. You? A mm -hmm. wizard? <laughs> okay. It's not that funny. What do you mean? <laughs> My dear boy, you can't just jump into wizardry just like that. It requires years of study. Come back next century when you're older. What? That's not cool. Right. Let's talk to them again. This, listen to me for a second. Yes, bye. I'm not Danny, okay? I'll do anything. <laughs> Make me a wizard or I'll cry. Make me a wizard or I'll cry. You can't be a wizard. You're not old enough. I am old enough. Where okay. did you say we were? One more. Listen one to more. me for a second. Yes, bye. I'll do anything, okay? I'll do anything to be a wizard. Anything? Anything. Anything. Well, you could do us a little favor. You see... All new wizards must perform a service to the circle before being um, properly invested. Isn't that right, brothers? Mm, yeah, that's right. Absolutely. That sounds see? suspicious. Just name it and I'll do it. It's like this, see? We would be extremely interested in acquiring a certain magical implement. It's a magical star for him to be hidden in this area. And we would like you to find it for us. Okay, that doesn't sound like a like a big problem. Um, and then I get made a wizard, right? If you find us the staff, then we'll invest you on the spot. Okay. 
Any ideas where it is? As far as we know, its last owner was Naplin, the necromancer. What he did with it when he died is beyond me. Tricky types, those necromancers. Always messing about with embalming fluid and giblets. Type fish and sod was probably buried with it. These damn giblets. All right, cool. I'll find it. No problem. We look forward to your return. I'm sure you do. You sound so very enthusiastic about it. He's new, yes? All right, let's get out of here. Goodbye, Bar, for now. I don't think I can talk to these gentlemen over here. We also have a map here and a postcard. The postcard is for saving. And there's a little dude here. I used to draw him in my book. I don't know why. Uh, let's call it Serious Nostalgia 1. SN1. There you go. I saved the game. And if you use the map, this is the entire world. Sort of. Maybe. Right now we only have a village and that's pretty much it because we haven't gone anywhere else yet, right? So if we uh, if we move around, walk around, we'll discover more things. Obviously. Ooh, the old shop -a. Is that a to sign something? No, let's just open the door and go inside. Let's see if we can buy. We we don't really have money. Okay. The asparagus jelly goes here with all the other jellies. Yeah, I, I disagree. It should be put here with the other vegetables. I say it goes here. And I say it goes here. Okay, but I need to go to the toilet. No way. You'll have to restrain yourself. Look! This is my body as much as it is yours. No, it isn't. I was here first. You just sprouted out of my shoulder. Who shouldn't have been mucking about with glowing rocks then? Shut up. I need the toilet. Ask nicely. Can we go to the toilet, please? No. I'll remember this, you know. <laughs> they don't seem to like each other, but, you know, I guess Excuse they don't really have how can I help you? much choice here in not no, being no. together. How can I help you? <laughs> don't listen to him. How can I help you? A 10% discount if you let me help you. Oh. A 20% discount Ooh. from me. Okay. 30%. Keep going. Uh, 40. 50. Can I get any service or not? What would you Damn it, like, sir? Simon. I want to go down to 100% off. Hard information. Just look around. <laughs> this is some sort of freak show. Is this some sort of freak show? I don't know what you mean. He's talking about us, idiot. It was a freak accident, okay? Okay. Now, what would you like, sir? Yeah, I don't really have money, so I'll just look around. I'd just like to have a look around. Be my guest. <laughs> no, be my guest. Okay, goodbye guys. Goodbye crazy people. So many crazy people in this world, but it's it's awesome. Okay, we can go this way and this way. Let's go check out the back here first. I know this goes out of the town. Okay, some annoying ducks and a dodgy geezer. Let's talk to this dodgy geezer. You interested in any mm, priceless antique porcelain figurines? Not really. They're handcrafted by the ancient ones of Grohl. No thanks. I've got lots of other priceless antiques. Anyone for a gold piece? Well, you look, I don't really have gold, unfortunately. <laughs> if any in books for this game, I love this. How come you can sell the priceless antiques for so little? How come you can sell priceless antiques for so little? It's the recession. I've got lots of one off bargains. Hmm. Right. Sorry, I'm really not interested. Who needs your custom anyway? I think we need to find some money first before we buy anything here. These ducks are so annoying though. I like the music, but the ducks, oh boy. Ooh, a ladder. Now here's a fun thing. This ladder's clearly too big for our pockets, isn't it? Nope. <laughs> it all goes down into the the head. What if we try to pick up this gigantic wheel? It's too big for me. Oh, that's too big, huh? I see. Okay, fair enough. I'm actually curious to see how much I'm going to remember of, like, the puzzles in here and everything. Um, cold remedy. Oh, let's, uh, let's pick that up. That sounds good. It's probably going to be useful for something. It's super-powered elephant cold remedy. Elephant cold remedy. So the super strong kind. Ooh, a moose head. What's up with that moose head? Okay, we can go up here apparently. It's a papier mache moose head. So it's not even real, huh? There is a specimen jar. Let's try to get that. Lots of herbs up here. Suspicious herbs even. Let's 
look at these. They look just like the ones my brother grows. <laughs> okay then. And anything else in here? Not that I see anything. It's God. We have an empty jar. It's probably good. Jar's always useful, right? And a clapper. Okay. I think that's what I picked up at the blacksmith's place. Bees! And a chocolate truffle door. Open it. It's locked. Uh, eat it? I don't have eat. Consume. There it is. I could never get through all that. Yeah, you could try at least. Look at these bees. I'm not going too close. They look very busy. <laughs> okay, let's go. I'm sorry. Yeah, so I think that's pretty much for the city here. For the town, I should say. It's not really a city, is it? I think we can just go outside now. Which I remember is over this way. This just goes back to the blacksmith. You can kind of see his house up there. So it kind of loops around. Somehow. Even though we keep walking left. But it's 2D. Oh yeah, look at that. Very nice. Very nice looking forest. But guys, I'm going to have to end the episode here. We go explore the rest next time. Let me know what you guys think about this. This is something I want to try out. Just play through some old games I love. Talk about some stories and stuff. I think it should be fun. And uh, as a question to you guys, what was your first adventure game? Point and click adventure game or like something like Myst, for example. And what is your favorite? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks all for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye.